Ah, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I want to go over the simple yet brilliant marketing launch for her. Now, I don't like to waste no time, so number one, it's extremely obvious that first they created a brand and project. The brand was already in place because it was so well thought out. That's not the type of brand that you create over time after release. They had to create mystery, understand what their aesthetics and visuals would be generally speaking, which you can see right here or eventually when I put a picture up on the editing to get an understanding of all the specifics of why this works mystery wise. You can watch one of my videos on visual tips for mystery. I'll put that link somewhere. Now you get this great combination where you're seeing this person, you're seeing these visuals and they create a curiosity in you, right? Who is her? What's going on? I can't see this person. I don't know this person. I'm gonna at least click and oh snap, this music's amazing. And now you're in it. Not to mention number two, a listen loop is how I describe the process of when somebody comes to your music for the first time and now they're in an environment where they're offered and suggested more and more of your music. So they're looped in right they're coming from the outside but now they're in this circle where they hear more of your music more of your music more of your music they see more of your brand because you are leading them through an experience and this is something she did or her did by using youtube and a strategy of just a simple playlist and i talk about that strategy i'll provide a link if you guys want to use it yourself but it's powerful because now i get this front side brand right there's the mystery now i click i get the music oh snap this song is dope and now i see music on the side on youtube and this it must be the same project and who is this person oh my gosh they're a mystery the psychologically it's putting me through these questions i see something that might answer it again so i'll click on it for an answer but then it only breeds more questions and that's how creating mystery from the beginning can be a very powerful weapon to create virality and accelerate your growth as far as your brand in the market but first which is technically number three you have to create awareness so you have this brand you have this music and you put these little viral loops in place for people to experience your music but now you have to get people to actually know that it exists what did they do marketing and it was paid marketing i like it was paid marketing because i was seeing it a lot of places i saw it on instagram i saw it on youtube and i knew other people who saw it and that let me know from the beginning this artist probably had some money either it was a dough boy on the street or a dough girl or she had a team behind her this case it was rca as a record label the specific marketing team hey it might have been independent who knows but the point is they did real advertisements on YouTube, Instagram, probably on SoundCloud too, but I don't know for sure. I didn't see it there. And why their advertisement got such a great return is because when you have this mystery that you're advertising and you push these people into these loops, now you get a high return versus some people who just say, I'm going to advertise without actually creating something specific that works for an advertisement. But I'll get into that in another conversation. Even though her budget was probably way bigger than something you might have at this time, Instagram is very cost effective. Facebook is very cost effective. And you can do that on a smaller scale to establish an audience and get you to, let's just say, the next level up. You don't have to blow up. But I, I did experience her when she was like, less than a thousand followers on youtube and watch that grow extremely quickly from the advertising and that plan of action that her use is applicable to so many artists even if you don't have mystery and that's not a part of your brand don't force it but the idea of creating something unique for people to experience on the front end and then setting those viral loops which everybody can do no matter what type of music you have and then just getting attention however you need to can be done that's all folks share this thing if you thought it was helpful and you know somebody else especially who can benefit from it as well other than that you know what to do hit that subscribe button